So Taurus, you know, this person had to run game. This person had to see what you're made of. Uh, their mind games, their games was really to test you to see who you were, um, which is quite interesting how this plays out. So let's start your reading and I'm going to show you exactly uh, what's going on. Hello Taurus, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. This is your general love reading for uh, November, gonna take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, you know, see what they're thinking, see what they're feeling regarding yourself and the situation as it stands and of course vice versa as well. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading guys, it is time stamped. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on a camera. Okay. So as I always say, please just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. All right. And of course, if this isn't your story, if I don't, you know, pick up on your story, you can stick around as there could be sometimes just messages throughout this that jump out and just speak to you. And uh, of course, use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go, okay? Because like I always say, ultimately we, we create our own reality. Okay, so just give me a moment to take these in and I'll be back. So Taurus, let's start your reading and of course take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here. But you can always flip, switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right, so it seems like Taurus, this is definitely a reading for those of you who, who, who has found yourself being attracted to um, someone else or having small moments of intimacy with someone else. Um, because you're in something already, you're either speaking to someone, but I feel like for the majority of you, you're in some form of established relationship, because, you know, and it doesn't have to be small moments, you could have already kind of blocked out enough time for you both to kind of feel this intimate attraction, this vibe, this energy that you both um, have, have, have felt, it's mutual, it's a mutual thing. I feel like this was maybe unexpected for you because at the moment it's like, I can't deal with this. This is not something that I can actually deal with or take on board or um, move forward with. And I feel like at the moment you're pretty content with that. Although things are feeling good because they do, it feels good to you. This attraction that you have with this person feels good to you. But at the moment as it stands, it's like, I'm not ready to move forward with it. Um, I'm kind of content with how things are are it's moved along to a place that I'm comfortable with for now simply because there's other things going on for you hence this person you're starting to now think about the possibility of losing whoever it is that you're dealing with and this person that you're dealing with is very it's showing up as the and this is how you feel about them like the queen of swords this maybe controlling or maybe very um, coldish type of person or moments of coldness. Um, it's, they're just their nature to be uh, maybe a bit uh, sharp with you. And you're thinking, you're starting to think about the possibility of, you know, you losing that. Like I said, for a lot of you, this was an unexpected type of thing that you've now kind of put, found yourself in. Where with this person, they're showing up as, they're not really thinking, you're, they're not getting enough. It's like, I'm not getting enough from, from my Taurus. I'm not getting enough, whether that's time, I feel like it's time or quality time spent because they're showing up as, as, as lacking something and they're wanting to fix that. They're wanting to fix that. They're wanting to turn that around and they feel like they're kind of, found some form of solution which is quite interesting i just want to clarify that 
Um, but they feel like they've found some form of solution to that, Taurus. Feel free to check out my um, Amazon store, guys. I've just launched that. should be in the link in the corner right there. Um, yeah. Justice card on top of that. Yeah, they're wanting to fix this because it is obviously, like I said, they're showing up as lacking something. So something's not right. They're not they're not feeling like they they they're being fairly treated or and not just in a deep way it's just you know given this type of connection this given this type of vibe why are we not moving forward with it it's that type of thing so there's that feeling of lack i'm not getting what it is that i want and they wanted to fix that and they feel like they've gotten a solution and that solution is around this found a foundation i believe because this is what they're starting to think it's like okay Maybe I need, I need, I'm, I'm wanting to lay more of a foundation with my Taurus, with this Taurus, with this person that I found myself, you know, being drawn to, being highly attracted to. Maybe speak more, go out on more dates, you know, spend more time together so they can start to embark on this new journey, this chapter. Like I said, I don't feel like this person is very much aware of your circumstances. For a lot of you, that is the case. So they're wanting to move ahead with this. They're wanting to embark on, on this journey. They're wanting to, because that's what they want to build something new, an opportunity to build something with, with you, become more intimate, build a have, have an emotional connection with you. Take this to another level, ultimately. You know, finding their self, being attracted to someone, um, there's, there's have, having intimate moments. So let's move ahead with this. I'm single. I feel you're single. So let's do this. But they're, again, wanting to mend or fix whatever it is they feel they're lacking in this. And the, lacking, the lack is coming from just your circumstances. You dealing with this person, because what does it mean? What does this attraction mean to you? It means that, especially if you're in this, if this is resonating with, with you, if you're in someone, something else or someone else is in the picture, it's like, what does that mean? It means that I'm going to have to lose this person. You know, and I don't feel like it's about because your emotions are so strong and you don't want to, you know, continue with this person. But you can't. I don't feel like I feel like you you're more than happy to pursue this. But it's just this type of person, maybe their character, maybe they're a bit controlling or they're not easily to speak, easy to speak to or, you know, they're a, a slightly aggr on the aggressive side. So I feel like there's a concern around that more so because I feel like there's some form of awareness of if I give this information, if I let this person know that I no longer am feeling this relationship, it's going to crash and burn. It's going to cause a huge disruption. Um, it's going to shock them. But ultimately, I want that king of pentacles, which is I want to get what it is that I want. And I don't feel like, I mean, if, if this person was providing you or if this relationship that you have with this person was providing you with that, then I don't feel like you would want to pursue something else in order for you to have the King of Pentacles, which talks about your harvest coming in. Ultimately, you're getting what it is that you want. Going back to, it's going back to this nine, you know, this provides you this contentment here. I feel like you've advanced in some way. You've gotten what you know you didn't have before but you, you're unable to move forward with it as it stands. So usually at this point of the reading, we move into part two, get a fuller picture and see where this moves to. I will be implementing that in January, guys. So just bear with me. However, as it stands, hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity, some form of guidance. Um, yeah, so for those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. If that's something that interests you, as they say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, you can check out the... Uh, November playlist for your sign, uh, Taurus. Um, okay, so see, hope, have a beautiful, beautiful day, and I should see you guys next week.